You know, I really don't understand. Why do people love this show so much? I mean, it, it's fine. Like, I, I, I enjoy the show now that I'm caught up to date. But still, how are people so obsessed with the show that they can make, like, hour-long discussion videos about one episode in theories? Like, how do you make theories on Ruby? Nothing literally happens in this show. And that's my problem with Ruby, to be honest. Nothing ever happens. And if something does happen, it takes, like, two volumes to get to. Like, if they reveal something, it'll take another two volumes to finally get to that plot point. And that annoys me. That really annoys me. And half the time, I, I didn't even understand what was happening. Like, I didn't understand that each Ruby character had, like, a power. That took me to volume six to understand that each character had a unique power. And I was always confused. Like, Ruby does that little, like, that thing, you know? I, I never knew that was her power. Or, like, she can only do that. I assumed everyone could do that. That just shows how bad Ruby explains things. I mean, sure, I mean, maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention, but still, like, the fact that I didn't understand that until Volume 6 really, really does suck. I mean, maybe, I mean, sure, I guess the super fans understand that, but, yeah, you know, whatever. Anyways, guys, yep, as you could tell today, I'm reacting to Episode 1 or Chapter 1 of Volume 8 of Ruby. Yep, finally getting some Ruby content. Yay. So, yeah, I finally finished the series, like, I think two weeks ago. Um, yeah, I really did like Volume 7, because, you know, the story actually progressed for once, and they just didn't, like, do nothing for, like, an entire season. They did something! They actually did something, and I'm actually excited to see what happens next. So that's nice. That's really nice. So far, my favorite volumes are Volume 3 and Volume 7. You know, they were just the more entertaining volumes. I guess I kind of liked Volume 6 a little bit. My favorite episode in Volume 6 was the backstory episode, because that, that kind of hooked me on Ruby a little bit more. Like, just, just that explanation. I mean, it was kind of bullshit. Like, don't get me wrong, that entire explanation about how the world was created and Oz and Salem, that, that felt like crap. <laughs> like, it just, just didn't really make sense, to be honest, but hey, it was interesting, the most interesting thing I saw in Ruby, and I'm happy they explained it, but it took them, like, freaking six volumes to explain everything that's happening. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Whatever. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, looking forward to it. I, I guess I don't really have anything else to say. I'm not one of those people that just, like, has, like, hour-long discussions before they watch the episode. Because I'm not that kind of person. Because I don't know what I would theorize about this show. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, guys, let's just start the reaction. Three, two, one, let's go. Up oh, here we go. It's starting. Well, I actually don't really know if it's starting because I don't see anything, but I hear music. So it's it's starting. Oh, oh there we go. Wait, who 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 the hell is this person? What's this like like Cinderella or something? With just black hair? Who's this? She she must be important, you know, to start off the volume. Are we just gonna stand here and just watch this person? Oh, oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe the scrubbing girl is Cinder, huh? Maybe, maybe it's Cinder. Oh, whatever. Wait, why? Why are you going to the dark and scary clouds? There. I mean, there. That. That. You really want to go in there? I mean, have, have you seen that thing? It, it's flashing red lightning. That. That's not a good sign. And look at that. A whole bunch of those grim creature things are crawling around, and a giant, giant flying whale. Oh, look at that. The giant whale has a landing pad, apparently. That makes sense. Rooster teeth. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Y you're rooster teeth. It's not like we didn't know that already. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're rooster teeth. You don't have to keep, like, flashing your, your title every single time we watch this. Oh, that's kind of cool. This whale has rocks inside of it. Oh, there she is. There's, there's the evil bad guy lady. Um, Cinder? No, no, no. Salem, right. That, that's her name. I always forget. Hmm. So we gotta do anything? Oh, okay. Now you're doing something. My queen. Oh, let's see how this goes. She gotta slap her? I would love to see that. Slap her. Hmm. Cinder. Yep, that, that's her name. When I chose you as my vessel for the maidens, I put my trust in you. You did, and she failed. So I trust that you wouldn't possibly return to me empty-handed. Oh, don't worry. She has the magical thingy, whatever that thing is called. Knowledge. Yeah, knowledge thing. The genie lamp. Oh, come on. You, you Like, you did something. It was Quiet Girl that did it. Hmm? 
Your hey, who, who, who's talking now? More to his. Oh, it's, it, um, it, it's, it's, it's that guy. Wait, I, I, how, how'd you get up here so fast? Did you, like, steal a ship? Because last time I remember, you were on the ground. The radio chatter, that same general and his forces outsmarted you. Exactly. Shane Watts never made it back. I'm afraid the doctor was a necessary sacrifice. Sure. I do hope this little one doesn't become another. Who knows? So what now? What are we gonna do now? She? Neapolitan has some very useful abilities. And yeah, a lot of great abilities. Asset. Yes. Hmm. You certainly do enjoy collecting assets. Oh, she too does. Hmm? Uh, who's coming? I I'm assuming someone's coming when I heard that noise. Oh look, it's those characters! I don't remember your names, but it looks like we're having a reunion! Here. I knew you'd try it. What the hell? What's that attitude? I thought you guys were friends, companions, um, mother daughter thing, I don't know. So incompetent. Hmm? Well the good doctor and I were advancing the will of our goddess, dismembering hmm? the very body of this kingdom. Uh huh. And you were merely atoning for past failure. Yeah, but she got the thing, huh? Did did you get the magical genie thing? I don't I don't think so. But now I know she has it. Mm -hmm. Once I return to Atlas, it won't take long to finish what I started. Yeah, I guess so. That power will be mine. I doubt that. Hmm? With the hand. I've given no such command. Seriously, you don't want to go after the Winter Maiden? Oh, okay. I don't know what your plan is, but sure. Ma'am, now is the time to... What are you doing? Why, why are you putting your hand on the stone? Why, why, why is it glowing now? Oh, oh, wow, look at that. It's making things. It's, it's doing something. What is it doing? We we still haven't seen what it's doing. Just because you're more valuable. Oh wow, look at that. You have a projector in your little your little flying whale thing. Amazing. Everything is already in motion. Really? All you need concern yourself with is your ability to act when I tell you to. Okay. I don't think of she's gonna course. like that though. Without you, I am nothing. I mean, well, I mean you you have powers now, so you're kind of something without her. I mean, you, you were doing pretty fine without her, you know. I mean, you know, I mean she's just saying that. Hmm. Ah, oh, scary. She dropped cl close to the screen. Hmm, where are we now? Where's this location? Oh, I don't remember seeing this well, last season or Valium or whatever they call it. Oh, look, it's Oz. I mean, not Oz. Oscar, whatever his name is. God, I, I really don't remember anyone's name. Hmm? Take it. He, he wants you to take it. God, I why did it take you so long to take it? Thank you. What was that? Was that like water soup or, or something? Hmm. I, I still don't know what that is. Heads up. Oh, look, a ship. Oh, it's, it's flying. Yeah, that's right. Get your stick ready. Oh, it's Ruby and the gang. Oh, I'm surprised you found him here. How, how did you even know he was down here? That, uh, you know, I don't even understand. How, how did you know he was down here? It's not like he, like, phoned you or something. More grim, more grim. I was stupid to think the general would listen. You were. You should have just killed him. Every choice I've made was the wrong one. It was. Now. And now the world's shit because you didn't kill him. All did what we thought was best. <laughs> yeah, and look where that got you! Right. Oh, look, it's that, it's that one character from Volume 7. Well, what's her name? I don't know. She wasn't that important. But I do remember that she had a bow on her. Oh, so what are we doing inside? We're gonna make a new plan that's most likely gonna fail? Or it could work, you know? Please don't shoot me. Sector 3 is going to need the most help. I'm sending back up your way right now. You know, I, I gotta tell you guys, I, I don't see any way of them, you know, winning in this situation. I mean, Salem's here, they're all fugitives, like, there, there's no way of winning. So you honestly, you just, you should just give up. Wait, what was with the hands? Like, what do you think was gonna happen? When we heard you went off after Ironwood on your own, we... How did you end up down in the slum? He fell! It's a uh, long story. What do you mean long story? It's not that long. You really fell down and Oz helped you. Now you got powers. Just say that. It's not that difficult. 
you're not going to tell them. Huh? You and I aren't done talking yet. Ha, <laughs> yeah, screw you, Oz. You're a piece of shit. Crow. Yeah, he's dead. I, I, he, wait, no, 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 he, he's arrested. Sorry, sorry, he's not dead. We don't know. The last we heard, he was with Robin, but... Yeah, he's been arrested. All right. hmm? Your friend is back now. Yeah, sure is. Glad you noticed. You ready to work? Sure, why not? I mean, we have to do something in this volume. The largest Grim Horde ever seen is hovering over the tundra. Yeah, like we didn't know that. Full of people with no heat. Yeah. And from what you told us, yep. no more military. Yeah, thank you for, you know, recapping all that. I'm give you guys a place to lie low for a while. It's time to get those people some help. Okay. Ironwood is stopping all evacuations to Atlas. And we can't get them out of the city with Salem's forces surrounding us. The um, crater beneath what, What's Atlas. that? What, what, what is that? safe, but it's warm. And with everyone in one place, we can do a better job protecting them. Okay, now let's let's do that. May can send you where you're needed most. We've got to get everyone down into that crater before nightfall. Okay, sounds like a plan. Slums, we might have a chance. Oh. Wow, what We're a wonderful never going plan. To sleep again. I just nope, know it. probably not. Either you're helping, or your baggage. No, oh, you know, calm down. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? We're gonna. Gonna do that? I, I guess we are. I mean, what else are we gonna do? We need to get out there and do what we can for Mantle. Wow, no shit, Yang. We need to do what we can for everyone. What about mm. Amity? And, and telling the world about Salem? That thing's not ready yet, so that thing is pointless. We need help. Well, no one's gonna want to help you because you're criminals. Are handling the evacuation better than we could. Yeah, because they're better than you. A bigger picture, but Amity isn't even finished. Yeah, so there's no so point of bringing it up. Doctor? Hmm? Oh, you're still gonna try, huh? Now? Uh, a lot more parts, right? Decent progress on construction and fuel oh, 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 really now? Oh, then, then what's the downside? Amity was designed so that it couldn't launch itself without first being granted clearance from General Iron. Oh, oh, of course, of course it has to have clearance from the one guy we, we don't really want to mess with anymore. That, 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 that's fantastic. Uh, we should probably give up on that. We just need the green light from his terminal, right? Yeah, but that you but that's impossible. The academy? Yeah, actually. Actually, what? There is more than one terminal. Oh, really? Now, I, I doubt it's gonna be easier to get to. One in the main Atlesian military compound. Oh. At the base of the city. Oh wow. Have to get into the compound somehow. Exactly. Get inside the operations room and then. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, at this point, it seems pointless. So we shouldn't really try this plan. This is the easy option? What yeah. you're saying is it can't be done. Yeah, so we should just give up. And even if you got the message out, there's no guarantee help would come. Exactly. It's pointless. Yes, it is pointless. Only Salem's current target. She's not hiding anymore, and once she's done here, she'll move on to the rest of Remnant. Yeah, so we what? Need to warn them. Even if you do warn them, it's not like it's going to protect them or anything. It's not like it's going to like kill Salem if you tell people about it. Sure, they might hi hide and cower, but yeah, th th that's really not going to do anything. I just... There are people here who need us right now. Exactly. We should help them first. That's something we can actually do. But this isn't about just Atlas. Ruby's right. It's about all of Remnant. Uh -huh. They need to know in Vacuo, in Mistral, in Vale, what's coming. So they can prepare. They can learn okay. about that later. Salem's here right now. We have time. Let's help the people first. And evacuate Mantle. But that's how Salem got this far, by dividing us. Yeah. We have to stick together. No. Hmm? What Salem wants is to turn us against each other. Yeah, it's working out pretty well so far. John has a point. We can work separately and still be united. Yeah, exactly. Just like Valium uh, 4. It was the worst, you know, Valium. to Salem. And maybe she will call off her attack on the... She, she, this is Salem we're talking about. She's not going to do that. Do that. Moment she uses the staff to create anything else, Atlas falls onto mantle. Yeah, so that that that's pretty much out of the question. I think that's the one thing we could all agree on. <sighs> okay, then I guess we're going to Atlas. Can you help us get to that terminal? I suppose someone needs. To <laughs> I I doubt this is gonna work. I'll go. Hmm? Oh, you pay? Penny, we can't risk. I'll go. Oh, oh shit. Okay, fine. You 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 can go. Yeah, this show is so depressing. I'm going out there to see what I could do. Yeah. Hmm. What's that? 
Go by the oh, it's keys. I was developing some new tools for you all before uh, this happened. Oh, nice to know. You're gonna need them. I, I bet we will. I'm going with Ruby. But what about Mantle? Oh, I'm saving Mantle. Because I actually believe we can do this. I don't. I really don't believe in it anymore. We're like, you guys so fail all the time. So honestly, so I don't really believe in you guys. You guys suck. I mean, not, not in no offense, but it's just like, you guys fail all the time. So I honestly don't have any hope. Hmm? What's that? Who, who, who's calling? Hmm? Oh, it's Penny. Oh, shit! No, no, let's, let's not answer! Don't answer that! The, why, why did you answer that? I doubt that. I, I really doubt your word. No, <laughs> no. Atlas needs you, Penny. They do, but we don't. We don't want you to tell us that. Ruby, what are you? What are you doing? Now, now, now that you're talking, he's not going to listen at all. Now. Still a chance for Remnant to. You're still worried about Mantle. Exactly. See, we we can't reason with this man anymore. He's crazy. Yeah, you hear that? That's that the sound of a madman. He's right about that. Why are you guys hugging? Is this a moment to hug? I mean, I don't really think so. Hmm. Oh, oh, right, that guy died. Kind of, kind of forgot about that. Prisoners have arrived. They're being processed in Stockade B. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crow and Robin. <sighs> Could you give us the room, please? All right. So, uh, what are we gonna talk about? I'll be fine. I don't think so. I mean, look at your face. It's messed up. I don't think you're gonna be fine. Thank you, Winter. For what? Really what'd, what'd she do? You. Oh. I've never... No one has ever seen a Grim Force this large before. No one has. The city's hard light shields will hold, but not forever. It won't. You'll all die. What will you do? Probably something crazy. Wait, you can't be in here. Who's talking? This is absurd. Oh, it's those council you. member people. I am going to do everything I can to defend this kingdom. Yeah, you will. What? To real crazy extents. No matter the cost. Okay. Don't, oh! What? What? What the hell? You, did, you, did you seriously just kill? Why? What? Why did you kill him? What, what was the need to do that? What the? What, what the hell? Jesus Christ. He was just complaining. <laughs> My God, Jesus. And no one's going to question that. Huh? No one's going to rethink their loyalties, huh? Because of that, huh? Oh, great. Hmm? I have questions for you. Then ask them. Aren't you doing anything? Aren't you going to, like, rub the magic lamp and ask it a question? Hmm? But first, I need the one who can show me how. Show you, show, what, what do you mean? Just rub mean? it. Ask it. Uh, do you, wait, do you seriously not know how to use that thing? I would assume the great evil Salem would know how to use it. But apparently she doesn't. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm from a surprise. Hm? Oh shit, here it is. Here, here's the theme song. Hmm. Here we go. Hm. I mean, it's not the best so far, but it's still pretty good. Ooh, I like that line. Yeah, no hope. <laughs> exactly. Oh. 
Yeah, the end is here. Does that mean the series is ending or something? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I really like this opening, especially the animation here. Hmm. Oh, look, they're falling again. Oh. Happy. Ever. Never! Oh, great to know that this is never gonna be a happy ending. Okay, so, yeah, that's it. That is episode one, chapter one. I don't know what people call this. I mean, they call it volumes and seasons. I, I don't know. Anyways, that was that episode. So what I think about it? It's fine. It's fine. You know, nothing really happens. I guess they're just, you know, you know reacting to certain situations. Like Salem has the magical um, question-asking device. They, I don't know, the relic or whatever they call it. Yeah, they got that, I guess. And Oz is back, officially. You know, he's not hiding like a bitch inside of Oscar's mind anymore. So, that's great, I guess, to know. Uh, what else happened in this episode? Um, oh yeah, the general killed some guy for like literally no reason. I guess he wants to show that he's very edgy, so... Yeah, he, he, for some reason, just, just randomly just killed that guy. For, like, no reason. No reason at all, but he just decided to kill him. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, this episode was fine. Not, not the best episode. The OP! I kinda like the OP. I don't know if I'm gonna listen to this a whole bunch like I do the others, but this was an okay OP. I, I, I still prefer, like, Volume 7's, Volume 6's, uh, did I like Volume 5? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do. I do like Valiant Fives a lot. So, yeah, for me, this is one of the weakest um, OPs so far. I, I mean, I probably have to re-listen to it, but, yeah. Um, nothing else. A lot of people do, like, theories and crap to Ruby, and I'm not that kind of guy. Like, I can't think of much. You know what I don't get about Ruby YouTubers? Like, how can they talk about Ruby so long? Like, how do they come up with all these theories? Like, I don't have any theories for this show at all. I, I don't get it. They have, like, hour-long discussions about an episode. I'm like... How do you talk about this episode for an hour? I, I don't understand. Maybe some things like Owl House and like Amphibia, well, maybe not Amphibia, but Owl House and like Gravity Falls, like I can see you talking about that for like an hour, but this? I don't. Like, what are you theorizing? Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Nothing happens in this show, and that, that's probably one of my negative parts about Ruby. Like, nothing ever happens. I think Volume 7 was, like, the only time something really, really happened, you know? I feel like that was the only time the plot actually progressed. You know, Salem finally came. I feel like this is finally the season where things will happen, because Salem's here. She's not hiding around her little chair anymore and just, just sitting there and telling them, Oh, do this, do that. Do something else, you know, finally, something's happening, you know, that's my negative part about Ruby. Like, it's just nothing ever happens. What happens with Ruby is they're on a quest, and that one volume is the quest, and then the next volume is their destination, and then the next volume is another quest, and then the next, you know, volume is their destination, and this time around, they're at the destination two volume, so, this should be interesting, so, yeah. Yeah! So anyways, guys, comment down below what do you think's gonna happen next in Ruby, because I don't know, because I don't, I'm not one of those people. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and of course, I'm gonna see you all next time. So goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.